It's considered the world's most authoritative assessment of climate change. This latest IPCC report has taken input from more than 800 experts, citing more than 9,000 scientific studies. It's published in three parts. The first, about the science of climate change, comes on Friday. The others, about the impacts and what can be done to mitigate it, follow next year. Since the last report, scientists have had six years to gather and examine more data and to refine computer models designed to project into the future. That's good. They'll draw on new data, including on the warming of our oceans. Ocean temperature monitoring has been revolutionised by a worldwide network of floating observatories called the Argo Network. Many scientists believe that atmospheric temperatures have been rising more slowly in recent years because more heat is being stored in the ocean. And since seawater expands as it warms, understanding this will enable scientists to better predict and plan for sea level rise. The panel will cite satellite imaging data to reveal how much ice on land and sea, particularly in the Arctic, is being lost. Other studies have been investigating evidence preserved in ancient ice, as well as in rocks and tree rings, to look into times in Earth's history when it was hotter than today. All of this new data is likely to make the IPCC more confident than ever that human activities are driving climate change. And this week, delegates from 195 countries will have the chance to review the report. So by Friday, we'll see to what extent governments agree with the findings.